Every country has police in some form or another, even in the Middle East where it gets a bit shady, to be honest, but they have law enforcement nonetheless. And it's been this way for a long ass time, from the prefects of ancient times all the way to the modern day fuzz. Which of course means it's time for a change, because that's what we do with tried and tested methods of doing absolutely anything, don't we? And spearheading this fuck it all this is the current year attitude is the co-founder of Black Lives Matter Canada, which sounds like a joke, but it's not. It's not just one bad apple. The whole damn tree is rotten. Oh my goodness, you're begging to be quoted there, aren't you? Fucking hell, a fruit analogy based off of a well-known idiom. Yeah, nice one. Step aside, Aristotle, with all your wisdom and thinkery, this bitch has got trees. Oh, what? We're abolishing the police? Shit, I thought we were just gonna have a couple of changes here and there. What the hell do you think you'll achieve by not having police? Besides illegal shit, obviously. Oh, I get it. I think when people hear uh, that we're anti-police... This woman is 20% hair. And I bet you spent the best part of an hour achieving that look, hey, Janene? Wait, wait, her surname's Can? Can? Can! They think it's going to be chaos. Sorry, I forgot what you were talking about because of old Billy Shatner there. Uh, people think abolishing the police would result in chaos. There we go. Well, of course they do. That would be the result. It would be a right fucking shitstorm. It would be the damn purge, except it's every day of the year and not a shit film. The new abolitionist movement is, it's about transformative justice. What the fuck? It, bloody hell, these transitions are shit, aren't they? Blurring all over the place. She's like the black version of The Flash. But that would be stereotyping wouldn't it? And if a black person runs that fast, they're bound to get shot. So don't do it, DC. You'll be harming lives. Non-prison, non-police-based strategies for dealing with violence and crisis in our communities. Oh, right. Yeah, I was about to say, what the fuck is transformative justice? And then I got distracted again. Bad day for my attention span. So transformative justice is, in essence, taking the law into your own hands. Vigilantism, if you will. With no due process and on a wide scale. Yep, seems fine. I don't see that going wrong at all. Especially seeing how Black Lives Matter act when there is a fucking police presence, it'll be fine. Who hasn't had a bad day? Who hasn't felt anxious or depressed? Who hasn't walked into their office with a Kalashnikov and 300 rounds of ammunition? The question is, should anybody deserve to die because of it? Hard to say. If you've had a bad day and so you back chat a cashier or something, no, you're all good. But if you bust out your nine and pop in the clip, yeah, that's probably a good case for being taken down. The police's sole responsibility is to manufacture criminals. I think you might be a little wrong there. I mean, criminals tend to manufacture themselves. There's no real shortage, you know? If the police are making them too, that's just gonna flood the market and it'll affect the economy. It would be a clusterfuck. So here you have for-profit prisons. When you create space, you create a demand. Oh yeah, because so many people are itching to go to prison, aren't they? That's why they break the law in the first place. It's not the money or the recognition, it's to gain the coveted position of convict. That means that bodies have to fill those prisons, and we have seen that it's largely transgender people. Oh, fuck off. There was a time you could say black people were unfairly targeted. I mean, it was the 60s, so there's no real point in saying it, but there was a time. Now you're saying trans people are being targeted just to fill some beds? Shut the fuck up. And anyway, any fucker can say they're trans. You don't have to do anything, do you? Could be down to a lot of people thinking they'll get sent to a female prison or something if they tick the right box. Yeah, well done, guys. You cheated the system. It's black people. It is native people. It's Latinx people. The Asians are still keeping their heads down, I see. Good for them. And what the fuck is Latinx? It sounds like a laxative. When you have that demand, then you also have to create incentives. That trickles down to police who also now have the incentive incentive of creating criminals. Oh, as if they don't have enough on their plates. Underpaid, understaffed, and now they have to take on more duties. Fucking ridiculous. I hope they at least get a decent commission out of it. It's not about justice anymore. It's about profit. If we were in the original Robocop film, Janene, I'd agree with you. But we're not, and therefore I don't. These for-profit prisons are, sure, and why not? There's good labour to be had there. You've basically got yourself some legal slaves, haven't you? Ha! A video from a Black Lives Matter activist, and I'm the one who brings up slavery first. Fucking mental. I think we start with the demilitarization of the police. Police don't need assault weapons. 
to protect people. They do if other people have assault weapons. Makes sense then, doesn't it? And a lot of fuckers do. I mean, it seems like shooting up a room full of people is the latest craze. Like being the first to buy the new iPhone, but it only costs you your life and not your life savings. The second thing that we can do is really look at police budgets. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're talking budgets? What exactly do you do for Black Lives Matter, Janine, eh? Are you the fucking accountant? And you better be arguing for increasing the budgets because those poor fuckers have to manufacture the criminals and arrest them now, remember? So I mean, that's double the work they're doing. And create models and economies for that divestment from the institution of policing and the reinvestment in community models. Yeah, fuck the funding for the police. Let's spend it on a parade instead. Bitch, fuck your community. I'd rather have trained officers with strict protocol to follow working the job than some local dickhead with a gun. You'll be disbanding the military next. Why do we need them when we got all these children we can send into a war zone? It makes fiscal sense. That means taking money out of police budgets and slowly phasing out police because we don't actually need them in our communities they don't keep people safe. Communities where black on black crime is through the roof? Nah, you're all good. You don't need police. Get rid of them and all the street gangs will just fade away. You know, uh, when you're looking at it from the lens of, of race uh, in this country, it's absolutely easier to manufacture criminals around that. Right, so in a country that according to you has a real problem with racism, your solution is to remove the people who uphold the law. Lady, you are one crazy broad. And what would Black Lives Matter even do then? The group that chants, what do we want, dead cops, won't have anything to fight against. I guess you could always move on to other professions, like what do we want, dead firefighters, you know? Death to neurosurgeons. When people's skin becomes weaponized. Particularly black skin. Particularly black skin. A book becomes a gun. A cell phone becomes a gun. A bag of Skittles becomes a gun. Damn! Damn, that kid is packing! A book that turns into a gun? I have to admit, I've not read that one, but I want to! We don't have some personal war with individual police officers. Oh, that's good! You've not been calling for the killing of individuals, you've been calling it for police officers as a whole! That's fine then! But I'm sure you weren't one of those people, Janine. You don't want to kill cops, you just want to make them all unemployed! What we do have is deep concern and a fight against the institution of policing. Undocumented communities know that they can't call the police. I'm guessing undocumented communities means groups of illegal immigrants, yeah? In which case, they can call the police when they need them. I mean, it's not like they'll get executed on the spot. Calling immigration, though, that would be a stupid fucking move. In the event that crisis happens, uh, a lot of black communities know that too, and so entire mosques Whoa, don't just throw that in there and move on. Why can't black people call the police? I get why an illegal would be reluctant. I mean, it's not exactly staying under the radar, is it? But why a black person? Unless they're a criminal themselves, which would be attributing certain behavior to an entire ethnicity, and that's racist, Janine. You're racist. Uh, churches, uh, communities, they have agreements where they won't call the police should something happen. Yeah, like when someone in a mosque learns that someone else in the mosque is planning on blowing up a shit ton of people. Very fucking quiet then, aren't they? No involving the police then? Isn't what you just said the model you want for everywhere? Because if these communities are sorting out all these crimes without the help of law enforcement and these crimes are still occurring, they're doing a fucking shit job of it, aren't they? They're crap! And in its place, We've seen such a wonderful and diverse response. Ah, oh, diverse! We love a bit of diversity, don't we? It doesn't mean what you think it means. Diverse no longer means varied. It means good. When it comes to uh, intervention in our communities. I'm gonna play that last part again because I chatted shit all over the bit I'm about to mention, but look carefully at this. Wonderful and diverse response when it comes to uh, intervention in our communities. You see that? Jump cut in the middle of the sentence. She didn't say that at all. Busted, Janine! We've seen people rise up with trainings around mental health crisis, uh, intimate partner violence crisis. We've seen rapid response justice teams. Rapid response justice teams. Now that sounds fucking scary, doesn't it? Nothing quite makes your testicles retreat inside you like a mob turning up on your doorstep looking for justice. And I think that's really what we need to be building. Revolution isn't just the ending of something, it's the beginning of something new.
Oh, is that it? That was an abrupt ending. She's right, though. Revolution can mean something new, as well as when something completes a full rotation. Only in this case, the something new will be mob rule. And mobs tend to have a bit of a habit of getting things wrong, don't they? Like in Edward Scissorhands or Beauty and the Beast. Not so much in Nightmare on Elm Street, though. That Freddy Krueger was a bad man. All those parents were onto something with that one. But it was still murder. I wonder if they ever got prosecuted for it. Nah, I guess we'll never know. So there we go, kids. The perfect policing model, just without the police. And it's not really a model, and it's far from perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron so I can pay my private militia. And check me out on VidMe, which is a lot like YouTube, except it doesn't constantly screw me. The links are in the description, and remember, people get battered because Black Lives Matter.